roster right now on the 49. You can pretty much pencil on the team, I believe. But uh, like I said, too, the, the roster is going to be fluid because there's so many guys that are still out there looking to, to sign with teams. And, and I know that Farhan is still going to be active and trying to acquire some of those. So it's tough to put your, your thumb on exactly what the team is going to look like right now, going not even into spring training, but even towards the end. I mean, it could change halfway through with some of the way that these guys sign so late in spring training. So it's going to be fluid. But uh, you can already tell, in, in, especially when you bring a new manager in, and guys are really even veteran guys are trying to impress and show the manager what they're all about and the new coaching staff. So there's going to be some healthy competition, and guys are going to be getting after it down there in Scottsdale when we get this thing cranked up. We're heading into year two of the like the rule changes that happened before last season. How did you guys feel about it? What did you like about them? Was there anything that, that you think, uh, I was waiting for like a loophole. I was waiting for somebody to take advantage of something cool. And I don't know that we ever got to that point, but it seemed like by mid-season we were all just kind of, it was sort of normalized by that. I think the league has done a great job. Every single rule that they've brought in so far, I'm, I'm on board with. I think the, the extra inning rule was fantastic. I think the pitch clock did exactly what they were trying to do and sped up the game and kept the action going. Um, so, I mean, the bases were a little bit of a non-factor for me, although it did seem to encourage guys to do a little more running. But I have the full, the, the, the commissioner has my full support. Anything they want to try to do, I'm going to let it go and, until they can prove to me that they've done something wrong. But all the changes that they've made so far, I think, have been right on and been good for the game. And I think that they're moving in the right direction. What you, Pat? I agree too. I mean, you know, the games have gotten pretty long over the last, you know, 20 years. So anything they can do to shorten the games, uh, I think is a good thing. I noticed a lot of that in the minor leagues. I think the average game time was just over two hours and 30 minutes, and that's, you know, it's a huge incentive for families to come out and bring their kids, and uh, especially during the midweek, you know, when you got homework and stuff. So anytime you get a chance to come out and see a full game in under three hours, I think it benefits everybody. Can you guys remember, we had uh, Matt Williams, of course, New Giants uh, coach, do 